And here we go. All right. Um. Hopefully, I start that well enough. <laughs> Because I put that creamer in there, and it's powder, and you have to really stir that. Or should be, you'll be drinking um pretty much powder, the lumps of it. You know what? We want to dry it right on the dragon. No, no, this one. Please put the money. <clears throat> we haven't taken it out yet. down to the last seal let's split up for tonight but don't go outside the village understood whoa Leaving in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. You want to thank me? Don't worry about it. Despite knowing what your future holds, this is all I can do for you. Take this moment. Tomorrow, Silverant will be saved. What are you gonna do? Good question. Well, the only thing I can do is believe in the Chosen. The Chosen from this side seems to be trustworthy enough. What does that mean? Is there a Chosen you can't trust? <sighs> Tetheala is Chosen. I can't stand that guy. I see. Tetheala has a Chosen too. Two worlds, two Chosen. If there really is a goddess, why did she make a world like this? Yeah, no kidding. I want to kick her for doing this. <laughs> Seriously? I wish I could do that myself. How do you know she's the one that did it? I'm fine, don't worry, go seek her life. Nope, can't talk to her yet. Go see Colette. This is her last night. Last night? It's her last night as a human. Professor, you're a scholar, right? Can't we do anything? Don't you understand yet? You're not too bright. It's because I'm a scholar that I'm fascinated by Colette as she continues to transform into an angel. You can't be serious. You think so? Now go to her. The Tower of Salvation is so close now. We've come quite a long way. Nah. Yeah. It's at a time like this that I stop and think how stupid I've been. Why? Because I don't even know if the way things have turned out is good or bad. No one knows that. The ones who think they do are the stupid ones. You think so? Definitely. I guess you're right. You say some cool things every now and then. Thanks, Lloyd. Your journey is finally coming to an end. This isn't the end I hoped for. Really, it 
perhaps the journey you started by clinging to the Chosen. This was to be expected. Clinging to the Chosen? Don't you remember? It was you who said we have the Chosen on our side. The Savior who will regenerate the world. Yeah, that's right. I said that. And that's why I have to protect her. If relying and depending on the power of the Chosen at the most crucial time is what it means to protect her, then the meaning of the word protect must have changed significantly from my understanding. And now, the Chosen is trying to resolve everything by sacrificing herself. What are you trying to say? Lloyd, don't make a mistake. I don't quite get it, but I got it. But hey, if I make a mistake, can't I just do it over again? <laughs> do it over. If it's something you can do over again, then feel free. Just be careful. There's some things that can't be... Some, can, some things can't be done over. No, we didn't talk to this dog. Weird. Maybe it, maybe maybe they pop up randomly. Well, aren't I going to see the others? Yeah, I should go talk to everyone. I'll come back later. I forgot to talk to someone. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Just do anything you ever try. Well, aren't I going to see the... That's alright. No, it's okay. Let's talk for a bit. You can write. The world regeneration. It's almost time. Out of coffee. I'm sorry? Why are you apologizing? This is the end, and yet I can't even speak. I know that's weird. You dork, that doesn't matter. No matter what happens to you, you're still you. Even if you become an angel, even if you become like Marvel, I won't ever think you're weird. Ever. Anyway, I'm the one that has to apologize. Even though I promised I'd make you that gift before our journey ended, I kept thinking we still had a ways to go. I never even got close to finishing it. I'll wait forever. Even after I become an angel, I'll keep on waiting. You can give it to me anytime. Okay, this time I'm really going to make it, no matter how long it takes. Can I ask you one last thing? Are you sure you won't regret this? Are you sure you want to become an angel? The truth is, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I would be too. But if giving up my life as a human means that Silverant will be reborn, then it's almost like my life is spreading out to fill the entire world. 
when I think about it like that, I'm okay. You're strong, Colette. It's pretty cold. Let's go back to the inn. Uh, sorry. That's right, you can't feel it. It was Kratos, wasn't it? Where's he going? You'll have to continue watching over Lloyd for me. <laughs> I have things I must do. In my place, I need you to... Okay? Lloyd, thank you. Uh, I was nothing. But who was that? I would imagine it's that assassin. He managed to get away, but I gave him an injury he'll not soon forget. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, perhaps. Let's get back to the inn. Everyone's probably up. Yeah. Lloyd. Hmm? What is it? Don't die. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's up all of a sudden? Huh. Don't worry about it. I'm worrying. How can he tell me not to worry after saying something like that? Assassin's Ring. What's this? There's some strange letters carved into it. Time. This is it.
Hold that thought. I'm ready. <laughs> Colette and the others. Looks like they've gone in already. Let's hurry up. Well, I don't like the sound of that. They couldn't wait. the final seal. In doing so, you will complete the final sacrifice of your human existence, your heart, and your memory. By doing so of your own free will, you will become a true angel. What? Sacrifice her heart and memory? Colette's going to forget about us? Colette's human life will now end, and she will be reborn and as And everyone angel. knew about it. Well, not everyone, but Rain and Kratos knew this. Professor Sage, what is he talking about? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I promised Colette I wouldn't say anything. Colette will give up her life in order to regenerate the world. Becoming an angel means dying. That's not quite correct. The Chosen's heart will die, and her body will be offered to the goddess Martell. By offering her body, Colette will revive the goddess. This is the true nature of the world regeneration. The revival of the goddess Martell is the revival of the world itself. That... that's... Lord Remiel, we have heard that a world known as Tefeala lies parallel to Silverant. That is not for you to know. Well, you kept know. it a secret because it is true, correct? From whom did you learn of it? Can't Crucius make both worlds peaceful? If that is what the Chosen desires, she can lend her power to Crucius by becoming an angel. Once the goddess Martell is revived by the Chosen, the two worlds will surely achieve peace, just as the Chosen wishes. Is that true, you ask? You know why you have come here. Ah. You can't! 
Are you really planning to die? Colette, stop! If you sacrifice yourself, your friends who love you, and your family, and... and me, we'll all be sad. It'll be the same as sacrificing all of us. <gasps> Genus, let me go! I don't want anything to happen to her either. But what else are we supposed to do? The people of Silverun are suffering too. But... The sacrifice of one single person, the Chosen, will save the world. Are you saying that you would choose the Chosen Soul over the entire world? Now, Colette, come join your father. Where's Kratos? Wait! Remiel! Is there really no other way? Colette's your daughter! Surely you don't really want her to die either! My daughter? Don't make me laugh. When I came down to play the role of Guardian Angel, you inferior beings just started calling me her father on your own. What? I merely placed the Crucius Crystal upon this sacrifice, who was selected to become Martel's vessel. Colette! Lloyd, it's okay. I realized what was going on. Every time I met Remuel, I felt that he was not my real father. But still, for some reason, I still feel like I want to cry. Colette, if you realized what was going on, then why... You can hear my voice? I'm so happy! I'll be able to say goodbye to you in the end. Colette, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. I promised I wouldn't make another mistake. But it looks like I have again. No. Thank you, Lloyd. Because of you, I was able to find the courage to protect the world. Because of you, I was able to find the strength to live these 16 years to the fullest. So please... Colette! It looks like... it's time. Goodbye. Learn ju what? <laughs> yeah, let me just give you another spell. <laughs> I've done it. It's finally complete. Martel's vessel is finally complete. With this, I shall become one of the four Seraphim. Wait just a minute. What are you gonna do with Colette? He's going to take her to heaven. You pay for this! Crucius, the angels, the goddess Martel. It's all a big lie, isn't it? Let her go! Now! That I cannot do. For she is Martel's vessel. This is Martel's new body, which took years to complete. I have no more use for any of you. Be gone! I have no further need of you. Be gone! This can't be good. Oh, they removed my stuff again. I really wish they would stop doing that. Oh god, no, no! Understood. Fire seal! Fire seal! Fire seal! 
This can't be good. Photon! Oh, Are you okay? You Here we go! Fierce Demon Bay! You okay? Are you okay? Get him! This can't be good. Photon! Um, no. I'll let you do it. Ultimate power, please. Impossible. How can an angel, the ultimate being, lose to a group of humans? Colette, come You'd back be surprised. to surprised. I'm going to restore you back to your normal self, I promise. Colette, have you really forgotten me? You're wasting your time. Not only did she lose her memory, but she has lost the soul to listen to your words. Now, Colette is merely a puppet standing before death's door. Kratos! Where have you been? What are you saying? The Chosen desired the regeneration of the world and chose this path herself. By the summoning of the Chosen to Daris Carlon. The seal will be broken and the regeneration will be complete. Kratos, what are you talking about? It is what you wanted as well. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martel. What are you talking about? Kratos, answer me! Lord Kratos, have pity on me. Please, lend me your aid. Have you forgotten, Remiel? I was once of the inferior race, a human. Does the ultimate being seek help from that which he despises the most? <coughs> Move out of the way. Kratos, who are you? I am of Crucius, the organization that guides this world. I am one of the four Seraphim, sent forth to keep close watch over the Chosen. Kratos is an angel, too? You deceived us! Deceived? If the Chosen merges with Martell, she will awaken, and the world will be saved. Is that not what you wanted? Once her body is taken by the goddess Martell, Colette will truly die. No. She will be reborn as Martell. Damn it! You think I'm gonna let you do that? Colette is our friend! You earnestly believe you can defeat? Hold that thought. Me? Whoa, okay. Let's throw ourselves into a battle where apparently I'm already near death. Are you Ow. Ow. Spear. 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 Spear.
Oh, it's on now. If you have that technique, I'm gonna change your stuff. There's literally nurses running around on the field now. What is this craziness? Don't need this. And running. Understood. Lightning blade. White spear. Jane, wanna charge? Spark lane. Three. Be careful. Lightning blade. What? Jeez. Every time you think you're close, it's me. You okay? We're done. I knew that was. I was afraid of that may happen. Jeez. Shell battle. Shell battle. Yeah, that is. Time to finish this! I guess not even you could bring yourself to fight against such an opponent. Lord Yggdrasil. Who's that? 
Another angel? Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. <laughs> People need not introduce themselves to a dog. What did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Eugrasio, leader of Crucius, and the Desions. That makes no sense. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Die! Hey. Hang on. Before you do anything. Holy lads. Got it. I'm gonna take you out. Damn. Wow. Perish. How sad. Are you? Yeah, you can't win that fight. <laughs> So Kratos, I trust you have no objections. <sighs> Farewell. Hey! Damn! The Chosen has already become an angel. We have no choice. We're taking her back with us alive. Renegades, as irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. Hmm. Saved by the Renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. Finally awake! Uh, well, where are we? Where's Colette? She doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it! Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused, too. Then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it's... First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Designs. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades and not Designs? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Desions. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Desions. All right, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Desions. So then who is that angel guy, you Drassil or whatever? And what about Kratos? Do you remember you Drassil's words? This is just pure conjecture, but Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the Desions may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait. What? How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the Desions as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the Desion Five Grand Cardinals said that their boss was Eudrasio. And Eugdrasil said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Desions when he appeared before us. If the Desions and Crucius are the same, well then what about Kratos? He obeyed Eugdrasil's orders. That means... That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's four seraphim. Kratos is likely a subordinate of Eugdrasil. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. 
So we were deceived from the very beginning. By Remiel, the Crucius, even Kratos. Ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the next room. Our leader awaits you. You're finally awake. Are you the Renegades? Correct. You're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions. Or rather, the Crucius. So Crucius and the Desions really are the same organization? Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open, and operates the Desions from behind the scenes. The Desions are a subordinate organization within Crucius. The Church of Martel is nothing more than an instrument created by Crucius to rule the world. Those who call themselves angels are half-elves who have evolved by using a special type of X-Sphere called Crucius Crystals. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half-elves too? Yes. Some of the designs, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half-elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head a little? Do they wish to revive the goddess Martell? They send oracles to those of the Mana lineage and control their marriages to create Chosens who become the vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. I am impressed. There is another world beyond Silverlight that competes for Mana. Tetheola. Yes. And the one who created this twisted world was Crucius' leader, Yggdrasil. Create a world? That's ridiculous! No one can do that! If that's what you believe, then our conversation ends here. Wait! If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me! You're certainly not on our side, and yet for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel Transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on it. Now we have the key to stop Martel's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. I knew it. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? What's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Ugh! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma! Kratos! How many times must you get in my way? Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was... We're getting out Lord, of here. What are you doing? Why am I... So you can still play as Colette. The only problem is... It just gets weird from here. Okay, we're...
That enemy's weak. Hey, a running machine. go. Um. I thought we talked about this. Yeah, did I mention the story just became really, really crazy? <laughs> up, 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 up.
Yeah, that's that's a position. That's a position. Three paths are good this way. Okay, I gotta push against the blue belong. Then just go down the stairs. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, that sound. That's a weird sound. South door. first time. Up to where up here? No. I'm missing something.
It's all good. We figured it out. I'm just being weird. I'm, I'm just being dumb because I'm tired. Damn it! What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether they're our enemies or not. Boy, what are we going to do now? We've got to save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. But what can we do? Sheena, where did you get your X sphere out of nowhere. I got this before I came here. They attached it to me at the Imperial Research Academy. Is it normal for people to equip X-Spheres in Tethayala? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, X-Spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. So Tethayala and the Renegades are on the same side? I'm not sure if we could say that, but the Renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. And the plan to assassinate the Chosen was their idea. They talked the King and the Pope into it. If you desire for Tethayala to prosper, kill the Chosen of Silverant. That's horrible! Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tethayala. Why Tethayala? Don't you remember what Ewan said? Angels are half-elves that evolved using special X-spheres called Crucius Crystals. I get it. Colette's current condition is caused by the Crucius Crystal. Since Tethayala is studying the X-Spheres, they may know something about Crucius Crystals as well. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius Crystal that belongs to Tethayala's Chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a Chosen in Tethayala too? Of course. The World Regeneration Ritual is carried out in Tethayala as well. The Church of Martell exists too. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martell's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation... No, never mind. Yeah, there are too many things that we don't know. Crucius's objective, the Renegades, the method to save Colette. So let's just start with what we can do now. So, we're going to Tethayala? Yeah, that's the only lead we have right now. And this time, I'm going to fulfill my role. I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait a minute, that's great and all, but how are we going to get to Tethayala? I'm sure Sheena knows how to get there, correct? My understanding is that you can travel to Tethayala by passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riards are the only things that can do that. Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. Okay then. Let's get go. Um. Hey, remember this room? Head. Head west to the hangar. Ah. The north. This is the hangar. So these are the Riards. Hurry, they'll catch up to us. All right then, Tethayala, here we come. You mean you're all gonna be fitting on that thing? The fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... 
We're gonna fall! Ah! Ah! Whoops. We done messed up. managed to avoid destroying them completely. But they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. How do you guys manage to actually live in Silverant? Then magic, I assume. Perhaps the lightning that Volt produces? Then all we have to do is have Sheena summon Volt, right? I haven't made a pact with Volt. Oh. Well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. Oh, and here I thought Magi technology was infallible. Hey, what's that? That's the Tower of Salvation. Why is that here? This is Tefeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the Flourishing World. The Tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? Two worlds. Two towers. What about the Holy Ground? The Church of Martell is also over here, correct? Is the Holy Ground called Carlon? Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the Holy Ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. The Holy Ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records in our museums that depict how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the holy ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. Wow. So, this story has been spun in two worlds at the same time. So, either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Or it's all a lie made up by... Lloyd, that's not possible. Don't get mad, I was just kind of saying stuff. Anyway, let's get going. It's true we aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. Wow, it's our first adventure in Tetheala. Genus, this isn't a field trip. Conversation didn't get very far, did it? Okay, um, um, hang on a sec. Where are we going? So these are useless. I didn't think it put a save point here. But yeah, that's it for tonight. We made it. We're on a whole new world. So, stop here for tonight. And tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Um, Monday? Yeah. We'll pick it up then. <laughs>